Magomed Muratovich Kalilov, also known as Collapse, was born in Makhachkala, Dagestan, on February 25, 2002. He began playing Dota 2 at the young age of 13 after hearing about the game from some friends but only pursued a more professional approach in 2017. Collapse started his journey in professional Dota 2 when he was invited by Team Cascade, after previously participating in smaller commercial tournaments and the Russian Esports Cup. Collapse started to make a name for himself by participating in various smaller tournaments and qualifiers for ESL 1 Los Angeles 2020 and ESL 1 Birmingham 2020, although the team didn't manage to qualify for any of those events. Due to Collapse's demonstrated high skill level at that time, he was offered to join Team Yellow Submarine, according to the manager of the team, if Collapse had not been signed he may have quit professional Dota 2 as he had applied to a medical college. Collapse's decision to join Team Yellow Submarine proved to be the right one. After notable performances at ESL 1 Germany 2020, Dota Summit 13, and Epic League, Team Spirit recognized their talent and signed the roster of Yellow Submarine. This is where the name Collapse begins to shine. Collapse is part of a team with a roster that may not be well known among Dota 2 fans. The lineup includes Toronto Tokyo as their mid, Yatoro as the carry, so bad in the position 4, and Mapashka as position 5. Their journey to the international was challenging, despite finishing in 4th place in the first season of the CIS Upper Division, securing their spot for season 2, they faced disappointment by failing to qualify for the Singapore Major, and did not get DPC points, in early February 2021, so bad was removed from the active roster and replaced by Mira. It could be said that Myra's arrival brought significant changes to Team Spirit, in the second season of the CIS Upper Division, Team Spirit secured a second-place finish, trailing behind Virtus Pro. This achievement qualified them for the group stage of the We Play Ani Major. But it is very unfortunate that Collapse and his team had to go home and only finished 7th to 8th after losing to Team Vici Gaming, and only earned 200 DPC points, this outcome contributed to Team Spirit's failure to secure a direct invite to the international. Or he's gone, but Yatoro trading out as Old Eleven and Poyoyo move towards Mira. Oh, hello, another arena. Where's the spear? God's rebuke back. Healing ward down. They can't find it just yet. Collapse will take down second. the healing. And Poyo is going to spin back to safety. The right clicks aren't enough. Well, the die back on the invoker. Great Laguna Blade catch. And the Omni Slash. There's the second one. Finds Collapse. A triple for Poyo. And PYW picks up there the double. It is. They, they call, call it. it. They call it, Gary. However, Collapse and Team Spirit still had a chance through the Eastern European qualifiers. They confidently progressed through the upper bracket, encountering minimal resistance until the upper bracket final. In a thrilling comeback during the deciding game 3 against Hellraisers, they secured a spot in the grand final. All running down mid, wanting to get the kill, the RP is there, they're gonna find the finish on to cool man. End it. I mean, that's the question, they're gonna go for oh, yeah. it for oh, Yataro. Yeah. Pops the refresher, he's ready to go with that second round now, and yeah. Kuman, they have to come out here and fight. They don't have Rezo, the jump forward skewering him away. It pops the stone gate, lots of damage, trying to take down one, can they get him? Chrono there, no connect! Play. The final series against rivals Team Empire was intense, ending in a close 3-2 victory for Team Spirit. With this triumph, they secured the CIS qualifier spot for TI 2021. But they're not leaving. No. They're not getting out. the hint. <laughs> like guests after a party, they just won't go. Oh, jump in and the call is there. Yet again, great follow-up from Maposta. They have the terrorize. Can they kill him off, actually? Shara, oh, the big old crit comes through. Finds him at the end. And they take down two. Only one core remaining. They find themselves the Enchantress. Buys back on that Kunkka. But Ench is dead. Trying to take down Yatoro. Satanic is out. LSA to stop the pressure. And the turn now. On to Smiley Knight. He will fall. Has buyback. 80 seconds on the sideline though. And without friends. Black pretty on to Smiley Knight. They want to find that back line. But the Curse Crown is there. Oh, the stun. It catches oh, that. Oh, there's two. And there's the call. Oh, what a connection. Yatoro jumps in. Never a chance. Team Spirit makes the play.
finds the kill. They're going to TI Trent, and they're going to be very happy about it indeed. 54,000 gold lead, but the throne going to go down. Well played, Kratz. That's what you hope to see. Team Spirit makes it happen. Maybe not the way everybody expected it to happen, but showing that they are indeed one of the dominant teams in this region. Yes, as Collapse with other young squad entered TI without high expectations. The untested nature of the team, coupled with the perceived weakness of the CIS region, led many experts to predict an early exit, potentially after the group stage, but at TI 2021, this is where Collapse showcased his skills with signature heroes, such as Axe, Earthshaker, Mars and especially Magnus. Collapse and his team entered as the underdogs and managed to advance to the upper bracket. He demonstrated impressive gameplay in round 1 upper bracket with Mars against Team IG in game 1, even his carry Yatoro get his rampage, despite losing in game 2 and 3, and make Team Spirit go down to the lower bracket. Gonna hit because of the tornado here. Collapse gets a nice spear into the tower. Actually oh. blows up Emo. And now the beautiful Mars Arena onto two. Buyback is still available if he wants to use it. But Toronto Tokyo takes a lot of damage. Able to force up to safety thanks to this the Earth Schooler coming out. Ollie, that's a triple kill for Yotaro. Luckily for IG, one gets out. And Kaka. All right, Glimmer. Smoke is popped. Oh, he must just okay, straight in. jumps in. He's getting decimated, but there's a save from Ollie for now. But no, there's too much damage to withstand. He does not have buyback. Oh, the JP spear. is next on the list. Double kill for Yotaro. It looks like Fly Fly with the BKB will get out of dodge, but a triple kill now for the Morphling. And nice arena from Collapse. They find Fly Fly. This will be an enormous kill. He turns to the Monkey King for just a moment. Ultra kill Yotaro. What a turnaround from Team Spirit. And make it a rampage. Yotaro. Beast mode enabled at TI-10. After dropping to the lower bracket, Collapse's performance became even more impressive. The game against Fnatic in round 2 of the lower bracket was notably easy, with Team Spirit securing a 2-0 victory in a significant score difference. As they focus down the throne, one by one by one, death will die, and more to follow as Team Spirit is going to close this one out and end the dreams of Fnatic. They get the good luck going next. From Theoretically can make a portrait. In next match, Collapse using his signature Magnus, he delivered a stellar performance, defeating the two-time TI champions, Team OG, twice. Can they do it though? Finger of death afterwards if they want to use it, bringing him down low and dead once. Round two though. Coming back in for this one, Yadaro Paw does have the chrono, gonna connect. They're trying to kill him off, hookshot in. Is it gonna be good enough? He can't be out the wall. Everything provides to fail. The will be enough. The Orphe, they kill him. They take him down, no buyback. And now looking for more and step in trouble as they run him down one by one. That might be all OG needs. Again, he's sitting on an off stance sentry right now for Sumail. Wait, Portos again! They got Sumail! They don't have Chrono afterwards, but they might not need it. Mira continuing to control, looking for another round of this. Uh, RP gonna get off the mark oh, and collapse! Falls up back in! What in the hell? Sumail has a Ghost Scepter now inside the Fountain. I don't know if he bought that or not, but figure of death out! Usually when OG is in the Fountain, it's good! Not this time! As they pull him back down again! No Tail dies! Yeah. True, Portos. Oh. They got him caught on the top ten. They pulled him in two. Oh no, not like that. OG now looking for more. Seb got to run away. They buy back on top ten. Wall down. Yadaro vacuum chase. Smail thought about the rundown and with Horn toss. Still holding Chrono, still holding RP. That combo of like the horn toss with the lion, and oh. they get him again. Pull him back in. Bring him on down. Hookshot. Try to salvage it. It's not going to be enough. OG don't have an answer for the bag, and Soxa also gets killed. Unbelievable composure and presence of mind coming. They from needed this team for that roster. BKB too, right? I mean, all that damage was magical. He took 382 physical Got damage. Got him again! What? They find him another time, and the Chrono down! Collapse! The absolute madman! Wow! He is looking for it right now. The bottom lane, sure, they're stuck on the auto road, first. But the rest of the team coming in in time to try and save their carry. Is it going to be quick enough, though? They jump in! Oh, the RP! But he already died! And now the winner's curse after.
Toronto and Stocks in some trouble. Toronto, Tokyo, and they are all in pretty deep at this point. If they can maybe find a couple quick kills, it could be good. Thompson down low dead. Rooted afterwards. Mapochka, Mira, right on top of Sumail. Jump forward, Seb, trying to save this. He's done it so many times to them before, but can they do it again? Sumail walking away ever so slowly. Bit by bit, trying to escape, but Mira, he won't let him go. The jump forward, this lion's head collapsed, doing absolutely everything for Team Spirit here. As four go down, Seb tries to get away, but will it end up happening? No. The Yule Scepter lift up into the remnant. Toronto, Tokyo. Two A, yeah. Toronto, Tokyo, of course, setting up the easy one last time on the top. Said, follow the couriers. They're gonna take you to the heroes. Oh, I, I love that. Right on down the way. No tail is there, but they jump and find the back line. Able to catch onto Samail. That's a pretty good target. X afterwards. Yadaro eaten up this tiny as Sumail eventually falls. Oh, and they were so close to just running into no tail too. That yeah. would have been so much better for OG if he was the one to fall, but. Grabbing oh. the king instead, he has fallen and now collapsed. Well, they might just find no oh, tail anyway. Even gonna drop the arm. This, this is for the laning stage. This is from all the voice lines God, and the sprays. Team Spirit putting on a performance here. Showing everything. And can he find him again? Collapse in front of the screen. Seb, what? Just like that. They just find themselves. Seb, try and give him a high five and find the kill again. I think he was changing his chat wheel binds. He got <laughs> caught in the trees After there. Magnus delivered a stunning performance against OG, in the next match, Collapse faced immediate bans on Magnus in all games against Team VP. However, he continued to showcase impressive plays, this time with Tide. It looks like they're gonna try anyway. I mean, they're, they're coming out. Putting on a bit of a brave face here, VP. Toronto, Tokyo. Gonna give them a bit of a tickle to start the action off. Yatoro, he's ready to jump in, there's Collapse! Immediately with the Ravage, second Ravage, locking down the four of them, as Nightfall, completely out of mana, trying to run away with the BKB, the Arspinner will hold back Yatoro for now, but Nightfall, can he really escape this? He cannot! The Medusa dead, no buyback for Nightfall, as this should be the window that Spirit needs to charge down mid and end this game. I don't know if that's going to be given to him as the smoke ups here from Spirit. They are in the rear to get collapsed. Straight up with the first round, he pops the refresher into the second. Nightfall is gone. Has got buyback this time around, but the GPK has been caught by the Grim from Poshka with the lockdown. GPK is out of the game for two minutes. TF, he's trying to take it back to safety here with the rift, but the Ancients exposed. GPK dead. Yatoro and the team looking to close things up. It's Nightfall. He's trying to draw their attention away from the Ancient. Can he do so successfully? Atora is committing. They want to just close it. They're looking for the game. They're looking for the objective. They'll get it. GG is called. A spirit. After the victory against Team VP, Collapse and his team face Team IG in the next game, the same team that had sent them to the lower bracket. Once again, Magnus received a priority ban. However, Collapse and his team managed to avenge their defeat and secure a victory even without Magnus. Exactly, they have their timing here, they want to force a fight. They're gonna get the opening, Kaka jumps in with a stun, Toronto Tech is gonna just go straight towards JT, in with the BKB, they're on at the time, Oli gets taken out, JT to fall as well. Then we have five out from Oli, Flyfly's gonna be the new focus here, Collapse spears it back, Collapse still has the arena to play with if he needs to, Flyfly taken down the ones, Kaka missing the start, arena's out, they've caught the ball, Collapse! Locks them in, the heels from Mira, keeping Collapse alive, the triple kill for Yatoro, all to kill for Yatoro, Emo, the last man left standing here for IG. As he hides in the trees, Toronto Tokyo looks to see if he can get the catch. We'll just eliminate down up the tree line, in fact, over the power shot, we'll see him. Remember the remnant, the TP out, Emo, he, whoa, he's not gonna make it away! In the lower bracket final, Collapse faced Team Secret. This time, Collapse's mainstay hero, Magnus, was not banned but picked by Team Secret. As a result, Team Spirit lost in Game 1 but rebounded with a tide in Game 2, and in Game 3, they secured Magnus, and their carry Yatoro even achieved a rampage. Showing off the act of the instant telekinesis. Up there, doing a lot of damage to Zai. Looks like he's gonna be dropped down in the end, but. 
Secret getting the better of this exchange as Matu pops the BKB, just going absolute ham on Collapse. There's the Ice Path again. GG's is called. Cinder and Secret take game one in convincing fashion. Uh, could prove to be really useful, but I'm not oh, the I guess off the horn toss, skewer into the RP, but the BKB is activated. It's not really going to help against the Omni Slash, but a lot of it is tanked with creeps. So Toronto Tokyo getting some backup with Collapse of a huge Ravage. Down goes Matu, and now you see Yataro at his best. E-Blade, double kill, three dead for Secret in his Shadow Realm form, just decimating. Nisha able to get a pick off, though. Dot oh, mid. Spawning. This could be a setup for Matu. Okay. Thunderhide is available. Oh, there are the four staff from that. Matu, but oh, he's got force so out his good. BKB. Mira saving, or getting cold embrace for now. Pops the Shadow Realm as well, but there's Collapse with the initiation onto Matu, and now the Organ on top of it. He's already used the BKB. Nice save from Puppy for the time being. But Matsu's still stuck in a terrible spot right now. Has to just stand his ground. And there's the Terrorize to follow. Big kill for Team Spirit. Looks like Zai is next on their list. And down he goes, Cinderin. Great execution from Team Spirit. Oh my god, I hope we get a replay of that. What an insane four step from Collapse there. It wasn't even Mira that four stepped. Fire. So you can dispel Eon this. And oh, Puppy. Gonna get the disruption off, gets stuck inside the Bramble, pops the Ghost Scepter preemptively, but he's gonna die shortly after. Great oh, curse! Yep, that's a huge curse onto three heroes as Team Secret get RP from Collapse, and the right clicks are there from Yataro. Triple oh, kill for him, God. making it an ultra kill. Will he get another Rampage at TI-10? Absolutely, Yataro does it again, Cinderin! For life and responds. Oh, they're definitely going to go for this. 100%. And they're going to call GG. The underdog story is still alive. Team Spirit move on to the Grand Finals. What a performance. Team Spirit, man. It's hard not to be rooting for them right now because they have been the underdogs for so long. Team Spirit faced the undisputed favorites in the Grand Finals, PSG LGD. LGD had only dropped two maps in the entire tournament, including the group stage and playoffs, and seemed unstoppable. It's the team everybody expected in the finals against the team that nobody expected in the finals. I want to start by talking about PSG LGD. They're the favorites for the tournament. However, Team Spirit quickly doubled PSG LGD's losses in the first two games, establishing a surprising 2-0 lead over the championship favorites, and one of the games was won by using Magnus. Nothing to say outside of Vision. They don't see him, now they do. The pullback gonna be able to get that skewer. The Vision not quick enough, and nothing to say goes down, now looking for more. Ame has to be careful, Zing Q there as well. Oh, Ooh, but Ame nice. with the waveform through it. Brilliant play, and Aeon just afterwards. Now the chase, looking for more. Can they control, do they have enough for the kill? The Terrorize comes out, but he got the strength form off. Faith Beyond jumps away, the Skewer back, on to two, and the RP! Oh, Collapse did it to him again! And look, they're just surrounding him, there's no chance to help. They have oh. the Io, they have the Shaker, but... There is nothing else left in the tank there for Ame, although trying to TP out, but the stun comes through right at the end. And LGD, another triple kill for Yatro, up front and center. Jeez. Nothing to say, they jump in, there's the control, the damage out, but Pochka's dead, buys back immediately. Yadro turns to fight, destroys, nothing to say. They've got him, caught to the side, Ame in some trouble, hitting from the low ground, how many misses are there? It doesn't matter, as they chase him down and kill him off. A great win for Team Spirit as they will find more and more. Unbelievable. Well, the chase continues. Yaro just chases them down. And Echo afterwards trying to buy a little bit of space. Nothing to say, but can they kill Collapse? Trying to take him down, but no, it won't happen. On the side, Toronto Tokyo will fall with a big stun afterwards. Yaro moving in. He's big, he's bad, he's Luna trying to kill him off. The fear, the pullback, Collapse, he's got him. ZQ lovely dead as well as they turn and hit. Another one bites the dust, but they buy back now on Zinq, Fake Beyond getting absolutely shredded. Yadro is too big as they catch him in again. The pushback, they got him caught and gonna maybe find the kill. Nothing to say, down low, dead. Another huge win, Team Spirit. They won't be denied. The Horde Toss catches onto ZQ. Oh, and Yaro just slaughter. The way they play these fights, they're so in sync with one another. After the spectacular skewer and RP plays from Collapse, in Game 3, LGD managed to counter Collapse as Magnus due to ZQ, Rubik's charming play. Do you think that 
，还是你想玩拉比克？拉比克是吧？其实也还可以。金龙是玩拉比克是吧？这两个我想。感觉拉比克好点。OK。With one another, Spectre, Tinker, nobody wants to play against an incredibly fast one of those. The mid laners watching Q. He's in using the RP to catch Yatoro, completely off guard. Yatoro, he's caught. He has been caught. Here. He needs help, but he needs it now. The BKB comes out. He has been ruptured though. Not much that he can do. And Arme, he's in with the illusion. Surrounds him. No way for Yatoro to get out. They were playing on even terms for most of the game, and. Ooh. Oh, collapse! He tries to make the move, but the counter's there. Zinqiu with an instant lift holds him in his tracks. As it's another core out of the game, collapse and Yatoro, no way of returning for this defense. Skewer back on Mira. They get the grab. Mira also to be blown up outside of the base. Three dead on Spirit. No amount of net worth that will make up for a bad positioning or you know the clutch play. So formations is really important here for LGD, and if Yatora can find some sort of backline kill, that could open the fight up entirely. Approaching the final set of barracks, here they jump in underneath the tier fours. They're in on him, and Boska. He's gone. The collapse will try and jump in with the skewer back onto Arme. Yatora is committed onto the front lines with the BKB, but he's picked this up. Gets the Phantom knives off. Now turns over towards White, but look how much HP White's got. Yatora, refresher. Doesn't want to commit for another round. Nothing to say. They're with the eggs. They've locked down Yatora. Yatora to fall. Buy back at the ready. Instant smoke up from Spirit. Mira. Set things up with the curse kind of get the glimpse back. Just looking for the skewer, but he's actually able to get out here with a Manta. Arme won't be grabbed back yet. Steps back to the safety of his team. PSG LGD still respecting the buybacks here from Spirit. They weren't instantly pushing onto the melee racks. But the rocket spam begins from nothing to say. Yatoro, he's going to look to try and jump outside of the base. He's able to jump it onto GQ. He's going to go for nothing to say, but nothing to say gets the blink off in time. Back onto the high ground he goes, but Arme's trying to get in. They get the skewer. Arme, he's in the fountain. This is the RP. They've got Arme. They've got him. He's in the fountain. Can he get out? He cannot. They've got it the once. Can they do it again? It's just the three of the people's coming down. Arme, he needs help. He's in the fountain and it is in his own. Oh. He was attempted, but the Yules is there to stop the play. Oh man, he'll be getting out of the fountain alive. Jeez. LGD demonstrated that they were at a different level in Game 3, and even in Game 4, Collapse couldn't make much of an impact, and they have to draw 2-2. Two -two. wants to not relive the ghost to the past. He wants to close this Game 4 out here in style. And so far, he's doing it. Turns now onto the Ancient Haunt out afterwards. Where's the fight? I'm not seeing it. Going deathless so far. They turn now onto Y. Just grips to the side. Oh, oh the catch on the collapse. Y's not dying. Nobody's dying. They all fall again as GG Ooh. is called. In the draft of Game 5, Team Spirit conceded LGD's signature Leak and Tiny combo, but countered it with Collapse's signature Magnus. Парни, смотрите, у них Магнус суперсильный герой, а у нас нет альтернативы сильный. А мы вот так вот Тини и Магнус размениваем. А если парни мы оставим и Тини и Магнус, они возьмут Тини, а мы Магнус. Нас это ни разу не устраивает. Магнуса будет в нормальной линии. Сяо Сяо Ма. Чё Сяо Сяо Ма? 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 Чё Сяо Тридцать секунд ждем, пикаем Магнуса. Скорее всего, на Магнуса ответ у них Рубик или Огр. Огр не так страшно. Пикаем Магнуса уже. The decision to give Magnus the priority pick was a brave choice because the Tiny Leak and combo had never lost. However, Collapse showcased that he is a Magnus god. You could say this was a Magnus show. The RP, Blink, and Skewer from Collapse were truly beautiful. Quick grab, nothing to say, out for a minute. That Arme is playing, but he's about to get caught here to the top lane. There's Collapse, in with the Horn Toss, dropping the RP. The BKB was out in time, he's into the Invis, but the physical, is it going to be enough here from this Terran Blade? And Yatora is focusing down Arme, Arme is trying to run, but he can't get away from him. Arme out for 80. They're ready to chase for more Collapse, steering in and close the distance on to Jin Q. They've caught the Sky up, set up there as well with the Curse. They're ready to close up onto Fate Beyond as well. They're going for a third kill here, skewer from Collapse, back into the claws of Spirit. 
Toronto, Tokyo, long mana. James holds it back, but now with the BKB armor. Oh, he has my back though. Straight back in with the remnant. Gets instantly caught out with the torrent. The silence as well. Jump forward, collapse. BKB, Stuart back into the clutch of the Yatora. Yatora, RP. they're going to be able to lock him down with the RP. Where's the detection? Where's the detection? No detection. They need to see him. They don't get to see him. Oh my, he's going to live. He's going to turn towards Mira. He's still very low here. And then a slight change. They get him. He they finish him off. Oh, nothing to say. 16k PSG LGD, but they've got all their ults up. Can they make any sort of steal? They've already managed to set up here onto the Kunkka. They're going to go straight to work. Yatora coming in with the BKB. The curse holds back on the other side. Nothing to say. He's going to go down. Out for 110. Yatora's ready to step over to his next target. He's looking over towards Arme. Collapse. Popping the BKB. And Maposhka keeping himself alive with the cold embrace. Spirit. They'll turn over towards Arme. But Arme's still got the BKB to go. He's killed off another support. He's looking at to Toronto Tokyo. Toronto Tokyo by the top of the yards. He's got another remnant. It's like this into the remnant up to the high ground. He's away. Both Arme teams again. Him. Yeah, sneaking around under the cover of these silver edges. Playing it. They're scared to walk yeah, up there and try to kill him. <laughs> Why is like... Oh, they got him. There we go. They'll take him off the cliff. But look at Roche. Oh, Arme is killing Roche. Oh, no, he can't do it, surely. Blink out time, collapse. He's got his eyes on him. Still no nothing to say or why for 50 seconds. Arme is alone. He's gone in alone. That was a risky move. He's got the back of a Jin But Spirit, they're going to chase on. Slight chase. Oh, no, he's oh, gone. Two minutes, no, Tiny! And they're they're not waiting for the creeps. They're ready to close it this time. Only two left. Can they stop a PSG? I don't think they can. GQ's got it. It's over. over. It's GG. It's over. GG. They've done it. They have done it. Team Spirit. They come into the grand finals. Two games straight up. They take away from PSG. You need game three and game four. PSG. You need. With this victory, Collapse succeeded in immortalizing his name in the Aegis of Champions, and showed the world that he was the greatest offlaner and Magnus player at that time. In the following year, Collapse returned to the International with the hope of lifting the Aegis once again. But everything felt difficult, even Collapse and his team had to be in the lower bracket, and what was even sadder was that they lost on the first day in the lower bracket against Boom Esports. Collapse, he's revealing himself. He'll he's got a ward on the right, he sees them all. They're thinking about it, jump forward, spear back, arena down, get over here! Round two with the refresher, Tim's in, they're catching, they're killing, boom, they're doing it all! Team Spirit, they don't have the answer! There are still no buybacks, still dead there for a little while longer! Shot. They chase them down, big blast, and another one dead! Team Spirit, they're all laid out, it is over! Oh my god, Boom came in and boomed him! As <laughs> they're gonna take it down, Mira back up again, the crowd's getting into it, there's a third row shot, but they don't care! They want to end this game, they want to send the TI champs home! They throw the spear in to stop any blinks, to stop anything at all! Jackie trying to take it down, Mira looking, hoping, desperately want to take this out! But Tim's, he runs in, he punches the ancient team spirit, they don't have an answer! GG! The this defeat was particularly disheartening as their performance differed significantly from the previous year. In response, Team Spirit made changes by replacing Toronto Tokyo with Laurel, a young talent who is expected to bring about a lot of changes. Team Spirit's achievements with Laurel after the roster change could be considered quite impressive, they even won Riyadh Masters 2023 in Dream League Season 21 and in 2023 Collapse will return to the biggest Dota 2 event TI 2023. At the 2023 TI tournament, it seemed like the era of Collapse and Team Spirit. Their journey was remarkably smooth, starting from leading the group stage without losing, until advancing to the grand final through the upper bracket. As usual, Collapse played exceptionally well, showcasing his skill and outplaying his opponent. With the fear. Now Kiratin shows up, finds Mira immediately onto him. Yaro dies, but the cataclysm, the damage, it's almost enough, and it is! 
just want to assemble the Aeon Disc, but the stun is going to be there on the three. One of them save. And now the Hex on to both of them. Connection, the fear starts to fall lower and lower and lower. They're going to throw out all their damage, but it's not enough to take down Yadaro. Yadaro standing tall, streaming forward, finding another kill. He backs out Squad X and Pure Ditch. They got to get out of here. There's only a couple left, and they keep all the anchor down. They connect onto him. Anchor down, leashed up, starting to fall. Heritage nowhere else to go as the tornado is gonna kill him off. Laurel thinking to get the dead shot connection. Now, last tier three tower alive, stepping forward onto Notice, down to half HP. Keratin jumps forward, starts to bring him low. Will it be enough? No, the terrorize is there. They have their answer. Here pushes back Yadro, but the stun, the ravage, the cataclysm times two. It's too pretty. Double ravage, double cata. Keep looking for more. Notice is about to fall again. He's going to come back in a green light, but then there's not a whole lot left in the tank. Oposhka still hasn't been hit. That is Mega Creep. Team Spirits, the favorites coming in. Podcast right now. Uh, All right. Sure. Dead in the water. We're done. It's called what it's called. It's a great name for the spell. All right. We have a call we and do. a dunk. Beautifully done. So another dunk from the side of Collapse and Team Spirit. All right. Oh, we're going to see the harpoon being put to good use here from Nisha. Inks was coming for him, though. Yules dodging a bit here. Collapse is finally going to get off that call, but he doesn't really have that much of a backup here. It's just the Phoenix. Sandy, okay, they're going to be able to blink away. Another oh. Harpoon coming into a skewer back into the fray, and Egg is placed, but Collapse, he actually gets a call. He's going to back up, though. Meta is still on cleanup about 30 seconds. Oh, he's at the ready. Skewer up. He's Just looking. He's going to get the pullback into the stun. We'll see Lord throw down the button. Defensive disruption's there to try and help the Toro out of the combo. But the Fallen Stone comes in. Jump on. The Toro's coming. He gets his under. Right out the side of Toro. He's able to get back on the full HP. Skewer's trying to see behind the BKB. RP. He is caught by the RP for Collapse. Skewer's going to be going down. They've lost the ZK for 85 seconds. New surrounded here by Lord and Collapse. The Toro will pull you back over towards Collapse. In the river, nothing can save. Manages to finish off Mira. They're but they're losing two of their claws. Shiro and you taken down. They keep your Toro up. He gets Whoa. the thunder. Well, nothing to say. We'll manage to get out of that one. Got the end. Just got the red. Can continue to follow this up on the side. But Poshka does his down to Maybe they can find more here. As Mira also take a heavy damage from the illusion. They but angle. Get the Toro storm on the BKB. I'm trying to step back. He's going to be in the midst of the fight. The Toro continues to throw him up. Peek on peek. The RP locked down. They're just saying take it. Nothing to say down. They take it out. You. No buyback available for nothing to say. And he's out for two minutes. The Toro also able to find They get Shiro as well. Uh, they don't have buybacks. It's Toro now. Team is coming for Spring. Can follow three with the fallback. Toro right there. Pulling them back. The fear farm is going straight down under nothing to say. The Magnus will fall. Here comes Collapse. She retracts back Shiro. They fully focus the Spectre. The Toro follows there for a while. Double kill for Collapse. A Spirit, they'll lose your Toro, but they make up the pay. They'll find a third. Triple kill for Collapse. Give it the fourth. The chase out planet. All the big teams were wiped out by Collapse and his team. What was even more surprising was their 3-0 victory in the grand final over Team Gaimin Gladiators, the team which known at that time as the King of Dota 2 Majors. Even in Game 3, Collapse demonstrated how broken is Spirit Breaker. Swipes will go to the side, but they have the silence on him. The ghost remains with Quinn. He tries to go for a roll of play, but he's got nowhere to roll away to. Oh, that's a TP back. Right? Duck in the corner, get some good damage. He's still getting some good trade offs in fights. I'm still going to try and limit your split push oh, by going on whatever you can. Doesn't want to let him get away with a tier two for free. KB, they stick on top of him with the silence and the stuns. It's enough. Quinn is stunned up for so long. And now Toku is going to be in some trouble as well. He pops his ultimate that just kind of delays things a little bit, but there's no one coming to save him. If you're in multiple ink souls off of these fights, it's probably going to win you. Well, he somehow slips past detection. Oh, no, 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 he's got it. Breaks Blink gets him with the dispel on the Gold Scepter, but it is going to cost celebrating his life. He does have five back. He's going to play for it. Quinn off the mark there with his Blink in, trying to hit some heroes, but they've already popped their BKBs that are resetting a little bit. Celery, he's going to try and walk back into this fight. He's got to be careful, though. He may get caught by Collapse. He spots it. Down the end of tower. Yeah, that Ancient Apparition's gone. No more Ice Blast for you to be able to use. Ace has to use his ultimate. He knew the Atoro was gunning for him there. Didly and he could have been chain stunned up. Now they 
can back away. Primal Split being used. If they can get everybody out, it's a dream for Team Spirit. Collapse is making that momentum go. Pushed back by the Void Panda. Now hit by the Orchid. If they can kill Collapse, that'd be great. But he has so many dispels and so many yields. Spirit turn. jumping in. Goes for the back line. The Pango's been caught. And Yatoro, he destroys him so instantly. Now turns his damage on the Zorachi. Oh, Bumped charm. back by Collapse. A charge on through Tofu. He just meant to get the board tap down to low ground. Does get a dead shot on the Collapse, but he's still pretty damn healthy. And they can't turn this one around. It is all Team Spirit, and they will feast on the Brewmaster last. Team fight decision making, just all the Even Valve renamed Spirit Breaker to Team Spirit Breaker in honor of the winners of the International 2023 Team Spirit. All the challenges Collapse faced truly paid off. He earned the title of a two time TI champion and set a record as a player who won TI twice with Team Spirit, alongside Team OG. There is no doubt that he is the greatest offlaner, with his playstyle, he often dominates the lane and turns Magnus into a hero feared by opponents when facing him. Many people even give priority to banning heroes played by Collapse. And what's crazier, he made the name of the Spirit Breaker hero into the name of Team Spirit. And that's the story of Collapse.